here. We're playing at, we're playing at a club that certainly got a lot of experience in the, in the, in the CAF competition. Um, yeah. I mean, they did quite well last season. I actually played against them last year. Um, yeah. So, uh, I know they, they got a good following there back in Guinea. Um, and um, it certainly won't be an easy game um, tomorrow night. Uh, coach, it's Mazola here. Um, coach, can I ask um, just <clears throat> what is what is your maybe personal target or you know a holistic uh, target, a, a club target? Given that you know we we gave you a lot of stick when you were at Vets, uh, you know whether rightfully so or wrongfully so that maybe this competition was not taken taken seriously. Um, you know, as as sort of things uh, change. <clears throat> from a personal perspective and obviously uh, from a club perspective in terms of your approach for, for, for this competition, especially, uh, especially given the fact that, you know, that, that this club has reached this stage for, 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 for the, this stage of the competition for the first time with, with you as the coach. Firstly, um, you know, I've always wanted to do well in this competition, but obviously, I don't want to go back uh, due to circumstances it was different. Um, you know, nothing has changed for me personally. Um, so, and already, you know, we've got into the group stages. Now we need to go one further and, and try and get into the knockout stages. But what we need to do is take one game at a time and not get too far ahead of ourselves. This is not an easy group. Um, there's some teams that have, have got experience in this, a lot of experience in this competition. So we are, you know, very much... Um, What's the word? Underdog, if you want to call it, in this competition. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll take, let's just take one game at a time. Yeah. Um, good evening, Coach. Um, firstly, um, earlier you used this competition when you were in the prelim stage um, to, to sort of um, get your momentum back um, because you started winning here and then it translated um, into the league. Um, are you hoping to start maybe um, on a similar route tomorrow, and and also last year, um, last season, this is the same team that you met um, in the group stages of the Kev Confed um, with uh, when you were still with Feds. Are you looking maybe at some? Because I see that not, not much has changed um, from their side. Could this be to your advantage? Um, a little bit, yes and no. I mean, obviously, Barnes is not playing. I think he's retired. Um, but I think the team, the framework of the team is still pretty much similar to what we played against last year. Um, they will be tough, you know, they, they came here and did well against us here. We obviously lost to them there. Um, but yeah, I think um, tomorrow will be a different game. I mean, it's, you know, but they haven't changed much, obviously. All this changes, obviously, I've changed, but uh, nothing, nothing, you know, we'll worry about that tomorrow. Thank you very much. Coach Karabo, please go ahead, Mr. Pasha. Sorry, um, the, the first question was, I'm um, using this competition to... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, we, I mean, December, I think it was December last year, I think... Um, it's the good players, the, the club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the mentality of the young players? That, that, that... Karabo, just hold on a sec. What is, what is the mentality? Karabo, please, uh, just hold on a sec. Sorry, Coach, please uh, go ahead. Yeah, I think in December last year, we got the two good results from the Cameroon and the Golden side into January. And yeah, I felt it did help us a little bit. Um, had a look at one or two other players and, and um, it certainly helped us in a couple of those games that we played. We, we won a couple of games in a row, but hopefully they can kickstart us again, that situation. Uh, uh, coach, I just wanted to find out in terms of, obviously, you've got a, a lot of young players in the squad, uh, they, this is going to be their first time playing in the African Champions League group stage match. Uh, what is what is the mood like for particularly the young players and uh, how far do you think you can go into this competition? Thank you. Well, I think it's great experience for the young players. Um, and also, I think it's great experience for some of the older players who haven't been here before. So it's, it's really a good, it's a new journey for the club. But it's a new, you know, um, it's, a, it's a different type of, certainly far different to what we're used to playing in the PSL, the way the games go. And obviously, it's important for us to um, just, as I say, treat one game at a time and, and try and go one step at a time. Young or old and everybody try and go together and let's see where we go. You know, this is this is not an easy situation. I think we've got what's about six games to play in 
uh, in, this, in the group stages. So, you know, let's make sure we, as I said, take one game at a time and go from tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Taba. Uh, Coach Gavin, uh, we all know this is the first time Kaiser Chiefs is playing in the group stages of this competition, which is very strange. Do you feel any pressure from your side to do well, considering this is the very first time Kaiser Chiefs is, is participating at this stage of the competition? Thank you. Um, I think every game, you know, it doesn't matter um, if you're talking personally, when we play, there's always pressure, we want to do well. There's a personal pride from personally, and then obviously there's a team pride and a club pride. So we, we there's no, I don't say there's pressure, but we obviously want to do well and there's, you know, as long as we go with the right intent and play the right intensity and our attitude's good, um, hopefully this will lead us into the league uh, as well, you know, and that's the most important. I think these type of games are good for us. Um, it gives us a totally different perspective of how uh, football is played in, in other parts of Africa because the game is totally different to the PSL. Uh, you know, the setup, generally, the structures are much far different than, and obviously the players um, are totally different as well. Physicality, size, and all those type of things. So it's a great avenue in, uh, for us to discover, and let's see where we go. Tim from uh, Satish, sorry, Satish Sekar, who's joining us from Mauritius. He's asking if um, how Chinese. has COVID-19 COVID interfered your, your preparations? And um, would you like to see what would you like to see done for a return to normal football? I think the, the first question is is, is um, quite it's important from your side. Well, I mean, COVID. I think it's affected the whole world. You know, let's let's let's. let's it's more important thing sometimes in football. But uh, um, so you know, all we can do is just pray for the people in the front line, and, and you know, and hopefully this epidemic certainly um, fades away over time. Um, on the football perspective, um, whew, it's been really tough for teams. We, I mean, every team has been affected. Uh, you know, we were affected on Saturday um, at the last minute. So all this, you know, it's taken a huge effect from all, you know, from all avenues. The pre-season, there was no pre-season. I mean, you know, so people say teams are unfit and they're not, and that's why we do our substitutes and that's why teams are changing because teams are, you know, we should be fit by now, but we have to have pre-season, the six weeks, Players never had a break, gently, you know. So there's all these type of things coming to play, and I think it's affected everybody around the world. Look at all the teams. I mean, teams, you know. Um, but certainly we have been affected from a personal point of view, that's for sure. Um, um, I know that you've given an update um, on your social media platforms on uh, a Kama Billiard that is still out. Maybe how far? Because I think he has returned for night training or something. Um, I think he's pretty much just doing a non-weight bearing training, which is basically, you know, his cast is off. So non-weight bearing training is like swimming pool stuff, um, you know, and, and upper body strength stuff. Um, obviously, we missed, and hopefully we can get him back because we, it is an area of the pitch where we, we certainly lack in numbers. Um, and hopefully we can get him back, you know, uh, good health again. But it's going to be some time. Those teams take time, broken legs. Uh, coach, I think you've, you've already spoken about, you know, it's going to be the first time for most of the players, if not all of them. Uh, this competition really requires mental strength. I mean, you go to African continents where, uh, you know, the the the, the, the intimidation uh, from, from the other clubs, not only about what happens on the pitch, but off it as well. Do you think that your players might be ready for that mentally? Because as, as, as I said, it's not only about... Uh, what happens with the pitch, but the mentality of the players has got to be utterly strong. Do you think the players that you've got are mentally strong to face what might be coming uh, when they play away from home this season? Well, the, the good, the lucky part, you beat the, the teams in our group, uh, like Casablanca, Wyatt, I mean, they normally got a huge crowd there. So that's obviously not going to, they're not going to have that crowd available. So I think it's a great advantage for the wayside to go there because you're always at a disadvantage when generally when you go to these places. It's the same as, as Guinea. When I played there, was a big crowd there last year, a big crowd. So, you know, but but talking about mental health, that's just something one of my, you know, certainly for me, um, any football team, especially a Chiefs, that we need to improve air on a daily basis and weekly and monthly. And we've got to get mentally stronger, physically stronger and, uh, and tougher, you know, sometimes. Uh, and that's what these, are, these teams in Africa see us as. They see us as a little bit of a soft target sometimes. And uh, we need to become tougher.